Hot ATL. I'm your host, Renee Rios, and today we've got two good old-fashioned Southern streets. Number one, did you know Atlanta is the mecca? It's Hollywood South. So we've got Atlanta movie tours coming here to tell us all about the tours and the stars that are here in Atlanta. And not to be forgotten, good old food, because who in the South doesn't love some good food? But French food. Oh yeah, we're at Table 33 here in Smyrna Vinings, and we're going to learn how to make crepes. Who knew Atlanta is so big now in television and film that we now have our own movie tour company? Yeah, so that's why I brought the head fanatic, Miss Patty Davis, head television fanatic. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Renee. Okay, so what the heck is a head television fanatic? Well, we, it sounds fun. It is fun. Um, <laughs> it's always fun. We started Atlanta Movie Tours and we wanted to have some fun titles. We didn't, anybody could be a president or a vice president, so I like TV the best, so I'm the head television fanatic and my business partner, Carrie, is the chief movie buff. Well, that would make me want to be host then. That would be my fun thing. Want to be host. You're fantastic. <laughs> okay, so some of you, these tours that you go on, these are with people that have actually been on these productions. Absolutely. That's one of our goals is to have people that are on these sets so you're going to get the stories from the behind the scenes about the stars and what it's like to be on the set. Oh, so what are some of the tours that you guys do? We do um, Atlanta Film Sites Tour, which is all general filming locations. You come on our 32 passenger luxury coach hey, hey. and we have six 15 inch screens that come down and you're going to see the clips from the movies as we're coming up on the locations where they were filmed. We have our, Atlanta, we have our big zombie tour parts one and part two which are based on The Walking Dead and very, very popular. Our guides are People all... People love that blood and guts, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's is so there blood fun. and guts on this thing at the end? I mean, is there something like that? No, you're going to see it on the clips, but you're not going to see anything bloody or gory, and the guides aren't in zombie makeup. It doesn't have quite the same pizzazz when you see them in person as when they are on the screen. So, Well, it sounds like fun. It sounds like it's like a BYOB almost thing. You could do that, or we could we could bring the bee for you. I like that. I like that. Sound like have a birthday party even on this? A birthday party, bachelor party, bachelorette party, team building. We've done that with a lot of a lot of um, great companies and a lot of just you know personal parties. You come on the board and we'll provide all the beer and all the wine and the cocktails for the big zombie tour. We make a special zombie cocktail. So what is in a special zombie cocktail? This sounds good. It's usually pineapple juice, a little orange juice, a little rum. Just something a little more rum. A little more, and something <laughs> bloody. I would think some, something in there that like, yeah. A little bit of grenadine. <laughs> okay, so why is Atlanta such a huge place, and Georgia in general, for TV making well, and film? To begin with, when you come into Georgia, you, I believe you have $500,000 production or more, you get immediately a 20% um, tax break. And if you use the Made in Georgia logo at the end of your movie, you get an additional 10% tax break. That's 30%. That's right, people. Every time you go to the movies and you see that Georgia thing at the end, and you're like, why is this on every movie lately? Isn't it cool to see? I love it. And That's I love fantastic. hearing about all these stars in town, J-Lo in town, not Absolutely. too long ago, a couple days ago. So do you have any big uh, star sightings when you guys have been on some of these trips? Uh, well, we've seen Jake Johnson from New Girl. Do you watch New Girl? Mm-hmm. I love that show. He was here filming Let's Be Cops with um, Damon Wayans Jr. And we happened to just see their filming one day on a tour, which was really exciting. Oh, we don't see cool. a lot of um, filming because we do it. We do our tours normally during the weekends. So they're not usually working during the weekends, but we've seen them. We run into Arnold Schwarzenegger when we were going into a meeting oh, one day. Wow. It was really cool. It is becoming the Hollywood of the South, I think. Absolutely it is. So I know you're a big trivia buff, but my trivia would be just for Atlanta. Where do you think some of the star sightings, if people wanted to go out and meet people, some of the stars, where would they see them? You know what? They're everywhere. There's so many fantastic restaurants in Atlanta, too. A lot of them have been spotted at Anico Pizza. They've been seen at Echo. That's and they, they filmed at Echo. They filmed on the Change Up with Jason Bateman oh, yes. and Ryan Reynolds there. Let's see. Where else have they been seen? Um, Chops. Of course, you're going to see them at some of the high-end high -end places. Um, the Spence, the Lawrence. A lot of those kind of places. But they're seen everywhere around town. Now, what's filming right now in Atlanta? Mocking Jay is the big one. The third installment for the, for, um, the Hunger Games. So everyone's here. Jennifer Lawrence, who is big right now, not only with Mockingjay and Hunger Games, but you know she's up for an Academy Award for American Hustle. So we're excited about that. She's here. Liam Helmsworth is here. Um, Joss Hutcherson. And These the are B-list the stars. These are like A-list stars in Atlanta. It's amazing. Everybody seems to come to Atlanta. I mean, we've seen in the past year we've seen Robert De Niro, we've seen John Travolta, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jason Bateman's been here for several movies. Owen Wilson has two. Lots of people. It's so exciting. Well, you know what? I think it sounds exciting enough that you guys need to check it out, too. And for more on Atlanta Movie Tours, make sure you go visit their website at... 
www.atlantamovietours.com and you can find us on social media as well. Sounds good. Thank you, Fatty. Thanks, Renee. I'm back in the kitchen of Table 33 with Chef Rob. Now, I got to tell you, this is usually not a place I'm, I'm really good at. So I'm hoping oh. you can teach us how to make some crepes. This, it's not bad. It's not exactly like you might do in your home because we have the special equipment. And what is this called? We call it a crepe burner. It's a, it's basically an electric griddle. Okay, so what kind of crepe are we going to make? We're going to make a fresh herb crepe. It's a, it's classic crepe batter with fresh herbs infused into the batter. And we're going to put a little uh, cheese and chives and tomatoes on it. Making me hungry already. Okay. All right. You ready? Let's do it. All right. So this griddle is about 350 degrees. Pour your crepe batter on. And at home you would be doing this oftentimes in a in a non-stick pan. And what is this thing called? This we call thing? it a rake. I've heard it called something else, but I can't remember what. So you, you I'm, rake I'm the not crepe. French. So it sounds like something. You rake the crepe. Gotcha. So see how quick it is because Super it's fast. thin. It's it's essentially pancake batter with no leavener. But it no. tastes so much better. It's lighter. It's lighter. <laughs> I would say not not as filling, but okay, you see all the fresh herbs in there. So we flip it over before we put the, the extra ingredients in there. Uh, you might you might you might leave it open and then put the ingredients in and fold it on itself. Putting a little mozzarella or mozzarella. Cheese, some tomato, some chives. Some chives, I can smell them. They smell delicious. Fresh, fresh tasting. Well, it looks healthy. I don't know if it is healthy, but it certainly looks healthy and it smells delicious. We, uh, it, it is healthy to a point. I mean, we, I'll say this, it, it is bread and a lot of people are trying to stay away from carbs. It certainly has carbs. Well, if I'm coming here, I'm, we, not, I'm not staying away from them. But we do do um, gluten-free crepes as well. You guys we're, also have Nutella crepes we certainly with bananas in that. Now that's a cheat day right there. So as, as this cheese melts, then you can go ahead and kind of close it up. We serve all ours on a plate here, but typically from a um, from a food truck or from a, a crepe stand, you would get it handheld. Gotcha. And they often do it kind of like this, tie it all up so that they have something to put it in. And there you go. Done in less than two minutes. A little. A little garnish. That looks delicious. Excellent. Awesome. Well, uh, for more information on Table 33, go to table33.com and make sure you catch us on our next show. And in the meantime, check us out on whatshotatl.com.